Adding and subtracting radical expressions can be scary at first, but it's really just combining like terms. Before we start, let's talk about one important definition. Two radical expressions are called like radicals if they have the same radicand. So this is a weird name. It's like radicals. It's not, you don't say it like, like radicals. <laughs> you say this as like radicals. I don't know why we call them that. We're just saying they're alike if they have the same radicand. Remember, radicand is whatever's under the square root. Let's look at an example. Thinking about combining like terms, you guys can probably do this problem without ever learning how to do this process. What do you think the answer would be? Three square roots of x plus four square roots of x equals, ah, seven square roots of x. It's that easy. You combine the outside numbers as long as these are like radicals. Like radicals meaning it's the same thing under the square root. In this second example though, we have different radicals, or unlike radicals. Three square roots of x plus four square roots of y is, it's just three square roots of x plus four square roots of y. Those guys can't be combined because they're unlike radicals. So you can combine them only if they have the same radicand. That's what you're looking for. However, you guys know math teachers don't like to make anything easy. What you're gonna see is sometimes you need to simplify the radicands to see if they're like, radicals. They're not always going to look as easy like x and x. Sometimes you're going to have to do some simplifying by finding perfect square factors before you could recognize that those could be combined terms.